Okay, in this video I just wanted to show you the easiest ways to ruin your pot and how to avoid them. The first thing you can do wrong is getting clay that's too dry. Clay that's too dry will make it really difficult to center. You'll use a lot of extra muscle, you'll get a lot of wobble going, and it'll just generally wear you out. So, if you're having trouble, get a fresh piece of clay out of a brand new bag, wedge it thoroughly, and that will help a lot if you're struggling. Second of all, centering. A lot of people like to put their hands out here, put their elbows out nice and wide, and just go for it. Use all their muscle. Good way to wear yourself out. If you want to correct that, pull your elbows into your sides, brace your hands together, you'll create a triangle here between your arms, your body, and the clay. That gives you more stability to use your weight and your skeletal structure instead of your muscles and you can throw pottery for a lot longer. The next thing is spending too much time just pushing on the clay like this. That's another good way to wear yourself out. So, what you want to do is you want to wet your hand all the way to the palm, put your hand on the clay, press for three seconds, one, two, three, and slowly release. Get more water, do the same thing again, one, two, three, slowly release. If you keep just pushing and pushing and pushing, you're going to start with bad technique. So what you do is you ingrain that bad technique in your mind and you also wear yourself out. Pushing in shorter bursts gives you a chance to train your hands to do the right thing in short increments and you don't wear yourself out. Second thing is going right for it. Just pounding your finger right in there and making a hole. I got lucky on that one and it's pretty, pretty even. But what you really want to do is set your finger on top slowly and feel the center and then slowly go in. Add some water as you go so that you don't wind up poking a hole in the bottom. The other thing is pulling the pot too far off the outside. If I keep pulling here, going outward, I'm going to pull this whole donut right off the base of my pot. So just go a little ways. You can always open it up further later, but less is more at this point. Okay, when you're pulling up, one catastrophe that frequently happens is people start to pinch and they just start pinching hard because it takes a lot of strength down here. And they keep pinching and they keep pinching hard and they keep pulling all the way up through here and what happens is this clay down here gets really dry, your fingers stick to it really bad, and bam, you tear right through it. So what you want to do is pull a little bit, stop. Add some water using this nice drizzle technique with your sponge. See how my sponge, I can control the water straight down. And start again. Also slow your wheel down a little bit at this point. Gives you a little more control. Go a little slower. Com compress these sharp edges with your fingers or a sponge if you need to. And also right now I'm not pinching. I'm just holding my fingers about a centimeter apart. So it shapes the clay. But then as I get to the top, I can come off like this and see my fingers are still same distance apart. If I'm pinching when I get to here, I'm going to pinch right through the rim. You've probably seen that. You've probably done it. Happens to the best of us. But that's how to avoid it. Now the last thing is always go with the spinning of the wheel. You don't want to use your fingers this way. What happens is you catch your fingernails, you gouge in, and you wind up tearing the side of your pot. So if you go with the spinning of the wheel, you let your fingers glide with the wheel rather than gouging, much better. Same with tools. If I take this tool and I start to work over here, trying to cut this, I'm going to gouge into the side of my pot. If I work over here, you always kind of want to work at like 3 o'clock on your on your clock face, three or four o'clock. I can go in here and I can cut some of this clay away if I want. And then scrape that away. 